So for those people who love sitting in their rooms for hours upon end, even days for some people, you know, quarantine for them was just a breeze. For unlike me, it was one of the hardest things I've probably done for a while, just because I've been so crazy. Been stuck inside my room for just hours and hours upon end. And you know what? I would just basically found any excuse to go onto my phone, on my computer, just to do anything that would hold my attention. Just sitting alone in my room was just making me go absolutely crazy. And if you are like me, and you know, if you have a pulse, you're likely to have fallen into your YouTube binge, into a, like your Twitter binge, Facebook binge, Reddit binge, whatever you use, just out of the extreme boredom of just, you know, not being able to do anything outside of your own house. And that's where this journey of my guitar playing begins. So yeah, I wanted to play guitar for a while now and it's just something that's just always been like, yeah, I, I wanna do this, but never really got around to doing it. Just out of pure laziness and just not being bothered to actually do it. And I've had one at home for ages that I just like, literally just sat in my room or not even my room, into like the storage areas in our place and just been collecting dust for like hours upon end and just hours. Not hours, it's been more like days, years even, probably years, like I'm, I think I'm gonna, this guitar I had was just old, old. Basically, I just didn't do anything with the guitar, even though I said like, yeah, I wanna play, I wanna play, I wanna play. And quarantine was probably the best excuse I could have because it wasn't doing anything and I needed to keep myself occupied. So I figured, let's, let's learn, let's do something somewhat productive and learn a new instrument. So I, I have played guitar before, like I've been basically just getting the basics of it, strumming chords, but I, that, I didn't really last with it. And I don't even know what for whatever reason, just well, sheer laziness and I got distracted with other things and I really just didn't want to put all the time and effort into it. So now that I was back in quarantine where I had none of those excuses, I basically just went ahead and was like, yep, I'm gonna do that now. That's, that's still properly. So then, you know, during that lull, I've been listening to rock music and, you know, trying to get myself interested back in, because you know, I think one of the biggest reasons that like, you know you want to play is just because you have an end goal in mind that I want to be able to just you know, plow through like my, some of my favorite songs. You know, like if you keep listening to it, it sort of gives you that motivation to go ahead and play. I mean, I didn't even put that much effort into it the first time, and you know now I have the time. And you know, what am I really losing out on if I start practicing? So this, I was like, all right, I'm gonna give it a crack at it again. So where did I start with all of this? You know, there's so many different techniques that I now know about that I didn't even know existed. But like, people are just like, you know, they just take them to like whole new levels. Like, have you seen like a Slash solo, or like Jimi Hendrix, or like, just like even like some of like the more like subtle things that you don't even realize are like an actual technique. But then like, as soon as you start playing, you realize like, oh wait, this is a lot harder than it was. Like I thought it ever would be. But you know, when you're starting out, you don't want to worry about all that stuff. I like, guess that's not important. All that's important is that you start playing and you do have some sort of goal that, you know, gets you going. Which for me, which is basically chords. Like, it's just as simple as that, playing, you know. So now you've got a D chord, a minor chord, C, etc, etc. And like, if you're a beginner, you've got no idea about all the fundamentals, like just the things that you just take for granted. Like, having callous fingers, like now my fingers, because I've been playing a lot, like, they're all right. I, I, I basically can't feel anything on the tips of them. Basically, so like you can just, there's so many websites, there's like so many video tutorials on YouTube, like there's just so much information out there that I, it, it also can be overwhelming, but it's just like, you have so much at your disposal that you can learn it easy. Like I went on to Justin Guitar, like just to learn the chords and that, because he does a pretty good job and he, his stuff's all on YouTube anyway, and it's free, so. Like, just as a beginning point, learn chords with him, that's pretty good. And essentially, like, the first, like, week or two was just going through chords, 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 chords. And, you know, that eventually transitioned into playing actual songs. Because songs are basically just playing different chords in different orders with different strums. Like, they're all the same. Like, it's, it's pretty basic stuff. And if, honestly, if you're just playing chords and it's, you know, you're strumming up and down, it don't really feel like it's the best way to play because there's just like, well, what, it's like this is all fun and all, but what, what's the actual point of doing all this? So giving that application through songs is, all, is also a really good idea. Right, so you pick your basic songs, you know, basically any Green Day song, like Boulevard, Broken Dreams, Good Riddance, you know, I did A Valley Girl by Nirvana, uh, I did Circles by Post Malone, that's actually a pretty easy one to start with. Like these were the real ones that just helped me like practice everything practice the chord changes because like what they would be in an actual song. So you get that, that practicality aspect of it. And you know, 
because they're just the same four chords, just changing basically every in the verse. You just keep, I just mindlessly would just keep going over and over, just sitting there for like, like you know, an hour of time every day, just practicing strum, strum, strum until it basically becomes second nature. And like to some people, that sounds really boring. You know, I played piano and I played trumpet, and this, you know, this sort of thing was familiar. Even though like playing guitar was different, like the idea of practicing sitting down, like, that's all familiar stuff. So maybe that probably helped me get to where I am right now. But then you know, eventually you get to a point. It's like, all right, this is pretty, this is going all right. Like, where can I go from here? Well, then I started playing the single notes. I don't know what it's technically called because I'm just self-taught with all this. Uh, so then, like, basically, just from there, you know, you keep practicing. You you find different songs. You play bits and pieces of them because you know some songs have got solos and that's so, you know when you just start like, you know, you don't want to start playing solos. Like, yeah, you know, they realize like, yeah, I just can't play that. Yeah, I'm not that good enough. But you know, there's other different things that you can try. Like, I not around with drop D tuning. Or power chords, they're pretty easy, but like, you know, when you're starting up, it's just a weird, like, this sort of shape. I don't know if that's really clear enough, but basically that sort of shape, like, it's sort of fundamental, but like, if you haven't played, like, your fingers are just like, what, this is a weird sort of position I'm in. And that sort of goes the same with bar chords, eventually, when I tried to play on the acoustic, but uh, the bar chords, we can, that's, the, that's probably the next step. Eventually, you do start figuring out, like, when you listen, like, because I'm playing at the same time, one thing I did notice was that how some songs are a lot easier to play, and it's like, oh yeah, I can play that song, I can play that song. Like, these don't seem as hard. Like, one song I always thought, like, Everlong by Fifth Fighters, I thought that was a really hard song to play until I sat down and I realized, like, oh, this is actually that as hard as I thought it would be. Like, yeah, the strumming's a bit weird, and yeah, I've got to take into account the three guitars playing, so I can't sound exactly like that, but you know, there is an acoustic version, so that always helps to understand like as a guide, you know, so then once you start playing, you realize you take, all right, I take the intro bit, the chord strumming, take the bridge part, you add, practice that over and over, and then you take the chorus, and you just add them together, and you keep practicing, you know, you eventually realize like, oh, wait, I've got, I have actually can play this, I can, like, I'm half decent, I could, you know, if I was any good, I could show this off to people, and that's, and that's sort of the point where I'm at now, I'm trying to just, you know, continually make, like, practice, like, whole songs, you know, get them completed now, do all the basic ones, even though they're easy to play, just having like a whole roster on them, I think I can just whip out like bang, play. With the act, going back onto the actual like resources I used, it's basically the mix between YouTube and guitar, ultimate guitar tab online. Like uh, YouTube more at the start because when you got people talking to you and they go a little slower, you realize, oh, okay, it's just this, then go to that. That whole trial and error process and just doing it, it helps a lot more with it. Like, you just also understand, like, what they're sort of thinking. Like, you know, good channels, I'd say, there's Marty Music, he's probably, like, the best for it. But, like, he doesn't have every single song, so, like, other people, you can just tell after a while. Like, all right, you know what you're doing, you can teach it, this makes sense. Or, yeah, this guy's got no clue, why are you putting this on YouTube, please? <laughs> but, like, the biggest piece of advice I'd give people to starting, just get your hands dirty with it. Like, just buy it. I literally have been playing on an acoustic guitar like the whole time, until I've gotten, I've just recently got an electric one, but you know, you just play an acoustic one, you just, like, it's it's good enough, and it, it's comes with everything, you don't have to worry about like, what amp I should get, what, you know, worry about leads, and what, just all that other crap that you don't have to worry about, the start, you just want to start playing, and uh, if you just buy a cheap acoustic guitar, like, not super cheap, that it's just like, it's unplayable, but cheap enough that you can be like, oh yeah, I can, why don't I keep looking over there? <laughs> But cheap enough that like it's like you know it's not gonna break the bank, but at the same time I can still play it and it can sound alright. Like yeah, when you're playing like rock songs, it's not gonna be the exact same. Like I've been playing like or well, American Indian an acoustic guitar. But, I mean it's crazy trying to do that, but you know when you've got it playing in your head while you're playing English, uh, it's just it, it's got limitations, but it's better than nothing. And like it's harder to play the strum, but like maybe you just need that little like ordeal to just push it again, go in. But yeah, I'm bang average right now. Like, but that's okay. I'm 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 totally fine with it because three months ago I could barely strum a chord and I wouldn't go like ten minutes without my fingers hurting. So yeah, if you're trying to just this just kind of applies to everything. Just get your hands dirty with whatever you're doing. Like just you know even you're gonna sound shit when you start, but that's that's the beauty of it because no one cares because you like can see that you're a beginner. And you know, it's just all about like, you know, wanting to get better that people take a inspiration from, or just like, even like, that, that's the main thing. Inspiration is probably the wrong word for it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.